Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. A couple weeks ago, I did a regular tornado vortex bottle, and you guys have seen this, and I turned it into a colored vortex bottle by just adding some food coloring. Here, I just added water and food coloring, and the vortex is the same color as the water around it. So, it looks cool, but you can't really, really see the difference between the vortex and the water. So what I did was, I got colored oil, and put it in the water so that the oil and the water don't mix. And then when you turn it and you spin it and get the vortex going, you'll see just the colored tornado. Let me move this a little closer so you guys can see it. Hopefully I don't mess this up by shaking the table. See, when you spin it, the color part is the oil and obviously the clear part is the water. Let me show it to you in blue. See, how, see that? Look at that tornado, that is super cool. And it's separate. Where are you guys? It's separate from the water because of the blue food coloring. And here was the purple one. And we did a bunch of colors. That was in the previous video. So sometimes the oil gets stuck. It's a little thicker and the hole is pretty small. But you definitely get that vortex action as you see here before it slows down. So I was thinking of putting some stuff in it like confetti or little toy animals. Some of you guys had great suggestions. But I decided I wanted to take it a step further and turn this tornado vortex into something bigger. A lot bigger. We are going to, I didn't really have that effect as I want, but it will be a lot bigger because we're gonna be using two of these giant Coca-Cola bank bottles to make an enormous, colorful tornado in a box. Let's do it. See how much I can fill it up before. Uh-oh, why, why is this dripping? And that's when I realized I had a leak. Alright, as you see, there's a ton of hot glue on there, so hopefully the crack will seal. In the meantime, while that dries and hopefully gets fixed, I'm gonna make the colored lamp oil. I have special lamp oil coloring. Let me show you in a cup the difference between trying to color lamp oil with food coloring and coloring lamp oil with lamp oil coloring very different and it's why lamp oil coloring is pretty expensive let me show you all right here's the lamp oil going in two separate cups one's gonna be regular food coloring and one is gonna be lamp oil coloring here's food coloring see it just stays as these little balls See, it just stays as those little colorful orbs because oil and water don't mix. You just keep breaking them apart just by shaking it into tiny little smaller, smaller beads of food coloring, just like water would be, but you can't see water because it's generally the same color as the oil. However, when we add lamp oil coloring, all right, well, here goes. This is what happens when you add lamp oil color to clear lamp oil. See the difference? Just turns the oil blue. Food coloring, water-based, lamp oil, oil-based. All right, I'm adding all the oil from the smaller bottle into the larger bottle because this will be added into the giant Coca-Cola bottle, hopefully if the hot glue has sealed it. But before we do that, I'm going to add the lamp oil not the food coloring oil, the lamp oil into this bottle to make it colorful. Let's do it. Should look pretty cool, actually. Ready? Here it goes. You don't need that much to color the entire bottle. I'm just adding a lot so that it's nice and colorful. Nice and deep, the color. But look at that oil go. It was just taking over the clear liquid. It's so cool, actually. It's just taking over. It's like swamping it. If I just swirl this around a little bit. Close the bottle, actually, and give it a shake. Oh. 
so that it mixes. We now have blue oil. That was pretty simple actually, just a few drops. It just shows you just how strong that is. So we may as well add this to it so we don't waste any. And there we go. I added some red, mixed this up, and it should turn into purple. And it did, it was cool. It was like magic in front of your eyes. Cool. Look at that wax, that hot wax just hanging down in there. Dripping from there, I definitely got to get rid of some of it. And definitely got to get that hot wax out of the bottle. Alright, but at least the seal held. And we know what we need, we need to do. Definitely limit and take out some of the color oil. Do a much smaller amount. Ready? Take two. All right, but at least the seal held, and we know what we need to do. Definitely limit and take out some of the colored oil. Do it a much smaller amount. Ready? Take two. So as you can see here, it started off fine. I gave it a twirl. I wanted to give it a little bit of a stronger spin so that the tornado vortex could get going. Everything looked fine. You see a little vortex happening on top there. I'm just waiting for the, for the colored oil to get sucked down and make that colorful tornado. It starts a little bit here, not really working, so I try giving it a little bit more of a spin. But now everything's just like mixing together. It's a vortex, but the point is you can't really see the purple and the clear as separate. So, I decided to take it down and try again, but, oops. All right, so I got back to the drawing board after that fail. I took out some of the oil, some of the water, so that it's not as heavy when it's flipped over, and I made a much better seal. Let's see how this works. I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you soon. Stay incredible. Peace.